Absolutely do. One more. Yeah. Yeah. And I will pop on and introduce you here in just a few minutes. We've got about four minutes okay. before we start. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and let you leave your slides up. Uh, let me change my name back to what it should be. And just in case, I'm going to. No, I can't. I was, I was going to say I, I could put you back. I could put you to host, but I'm not worried about it. nobody else is on my network. So okay. let me hit the record button here so I don't miss it. So I'm just going to go ahead and start recording. Uh, Perfect. We can edit that out. And um, yeah, I think that's it. So I'm just going to mute myself till about three minutes and then I'll jump back on. When you see my camera come on, you'll know that I'm about to introduce you and then we'll go from there. Perfect. Where did I post it? Hold on. Good morning and welcome to Zeke Week 2021. Today is day two of our events and it is the SOC Professionals and Zeke Users Day. So welcome all you Zekers out there. Um, today we have Keith Lehigh, who is a member of uh, the Zeke LT and he, he's been a longtime contributing member to Zeke and he is, uh, I believe, acting CISO 
uh, at the university that you're at. So you can um, tell folks a little bit more about yourself and all the exciting news that you have uh, to tell our viewers today. So Keith, with that, take it away. The floor is yours. Thank you, Amber. Uh, as she noted, I am Keith Lehigh. I'm currently the Interim Chief Information Security Officer here at Indiana University. Uh, and again, on behalf of the Zeek Leadership Team, I would like to welcome you to Zeek Week 2021. A few housekeeping notes up front. Uh, first, I would like to extend uh, a thanks to Anthony Kazaf for again donating his time to put together a capture the flag for our conference this year. The Capture the Flag runs from 9.40 a.m. PDT today until 1.10 p.m. PDT tomorrow. Uh, there are a number of challenges in here. Uh, even if you're a novice in Zeek, uh, some of the introductory or the beginning challenges um, are probably ones that you'll be able to work through. You may surprise yourself by how far you get. Uh, we encourage you to work uh, either individually or in teams. Uh, there is a Slack channel, ZW21-CTF, where announcements related to this will be uh, shared. And then there are some additional details in a post at uh, zekweek.org. Uh, again, uh, thanks to Anthony for all of the hard work he's done to put this together. And uh, we all are very excited to see how people engage with this and what you can learn from it. This year we'll be again using Slack channels for communicating with speakers and with the attendees. Uh, there's a primary channel at Zeek Week 21, and then each talk will have an individual Slack channel uh, that will be in the form of ZW21-day number dash talk dash number. Uh, for instance, this one is ZW21-day two dash talk dash one, uh, and the excellent keynote that will be following me is ZW21-day two dash talk dash two. Uh, speakers will be in there, uh, be able to interact with those folks while they're presenting. And for people who have time to hang around, there's an opportunity to follow up. Um, not quite as excellent as an in-person uh, hallway conference, but still allows you to have a little bit of personal interaction with the speakers. Uh, and we look forward to seeing what people are interested in and what conversations go on. I'd like to take a moment to thank the Zeek trainers uh, who presented yesterday, uh, especially Fatima Balatwala and Ashish Sharma. Uh, Fatima and I presented on an intro to Zeek course and Ashish provided a course on Zeek scripting. Um, in addition, we could not have done what we did without our teaching assistants. Uh, so thank you to, uh, to Anthony, Ian Ketter, uh, to DOP, and I'm certain I'm missing some other folks that donated their time to hang out in the Slack channel and help make that a better experience. As well, I'd like to thank Corelight and their corporate partners who also conducted training yesterday. Uh, this is something that's new that we're doing this year, and we are certainly looking to expand it in the future. And if you're a corporate entity and you're interested in participating in training uh, with Zeek events, please reach out to Amber Grainer and she can work with you. A uh, quick note about the surveys. Uh, we had a, an issue with the mandatory question yesterday uh, that created some problems. We fixed that issue and we will be resending surveys to all attendees. Um, I really encourage everyone to provide us feedback, positive or negative. Um, knowing what worked well and what didn't for you uh, will help us improve future events, uh, be it training or the speaking uh, events that are going on today and tomorrow. Um, again, with virtual, a little harder to have that interactivity. So any advice or guidance that the uh, attendees can provide us will help us make better events in the future. Uh, I'd like to take a moment. Uh, when we were looking to do this as a physical in-person event, uh, we had a number of corporate partners who stepped up to offer sponsorships. Uh, when we went to a virtual only event, we no longer needed their sponsorship, uh, but we did want to take a moment to acknowledge uh, their participation and their continued support of the project. Uh, so thank you to all of the companies that were willing to participate uh, and we look forward to future engagements with you. So I'd like to take a moment here very quickly to talk about something that the Zeek leadership team has been working on. Uh, namely, over the last several months, we have been working to come to consensus on a vision, uh, mission, and values for the project. Um, 
These help to define what is important to the project. Uh, it serves as a sort of implicit agreement with the user community. Uh, what we've laid out in the following slides is what will help guide us as we move forward. Uh, so without further ado, uh, these are listed on the website, uh, on the Zeek website under the about section, uh, but we'll very quickly, I'll go through these. Uh, our vision is to provide an open network monitoring framework that empowers defenders with rich insights into the activity of their systems. Uh, our users can rely on the stability, security, extensibility, and clarity of our offerings. Our efforts are supported by a vibrant community of developers, and edu developers educators, and users. Uh, this is our vision overall for the project. Uh, and as I noted, this is what will guide us forward. Um, our mission specifically is to develop the Zeek ecosystem, enabling the community to deeply understand and defend their networks. Uh, I think much of what we've laid out here is what we informally uh, did over the years before this, but establishing this, uh, codifying it and sharing it with the community helps everyone understand and agree and get on the same page. Finally, and most importantly, uh, are the values. Uh, these are our guiding principles. Uh, as we move forward with the project, uh, these will be the foundations that we base our decisions and our guidance and our direction on. First, we will be open source free and customizable. Uh, by that, we mean that everyone should be able to use and extend Zeek. Uh, there are small and large ways that people can participate uh, and engage with the project, uh, and there are large ways. There's room for everyone. Uh, we intend to be based on deep technical rigor. Uh, we will create robust systems built with scientific excellence. Uh, that has always been the goal since the first uh, days of Zeek in the mid 90s uh, and will continue to be a foundational part of the project. And finally, and most importantly, we will continue to be a community focused project. Uh, and by that, we mean we aim to have a transparent relationship with a diverse and inclusive community. Uh, we uh, welcome any feedback on the uh, work that we've done here. And again, we hope that this can help guide us as we move forward into the future and expand the project. Uh, very quickly, I uh, don't have a slide for this, but I want to note uh, we did another package contest. Uh, and as was noted, this time uh, the package contest is based around anyone who submitted a package from January 1st of this year until October. Uh, if you submitted a package to the Zeek package system, uh, you would be eligible for a uh, challenge coin. Um, if you have not, if you have submitted a package and you did not hear back from Amber, uh, please reach out to Amber Grainer. Uh, she is AK Grainer on Slack. Uh, she'll need some, uh, some coordinates to be able to send those coins to you. Um, the package system is an excellent place for people to be able to uh, to get interacted uh, and to get involved in the project in a variety of ways. Um, I do very quickly want to point out there is a packages channel in Slack where there's discussion. Uh, and if you pop in there now, you will note that uh, yesterday Seth Grover announced that he had gone through and converted or rather updated, uh, I believe, 17 packages uh, that needed to have some uh, range of minor to major changes to work more uh, reliably with Zeek 4.1. Um, that's an excellent example of places where people can get involved if they don't have an idea for a new package. Uh, there's always small changes and improvements that can be made in existing packages, and uh, we encourage all submissions. And again, uh, thank you very much to Seth for all of that hard work uh, in putting together those improvements. 